Hi, this is Eric. I am the Grey Goat. This is my garage. And if you're wondering why your clutch doesn't spin and mine does, I'm going to show you why. This is a clutch off the Coleman mini bikes that have the 16 millimeter crankshaft. And, you know, like so many Chinese items, it needs a little bit of help. So, if you've never serviced your clutch, this is something that's important for you to do and is going to keep your engine and your clutch performing better longer. So when Coleman went to the 16 millimeter crankshaft and no 5 8 clutches will not fit on a 16 millimeter crank unless you fire up the engine and sand the shaft down. It's 5 thousandths difference. I've tested it. So the, the 16 millimeter clutches, Coleman had so many issues with their clutches that they went to a needle bearing style clutch. It's actually a really good thing and it's actually a pretty nice clutch but we have to service it and really the only special tools that you'll need to service it are snap ring pliers and some grease so what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking removing this snap ring on the end of the clutch once that snap rings off you can separate in the clutch into two halves this half is the shoes there's springs in here you can see the springs but there's also a fiber washer right here um, actually this is a bronze eh, no it's just steel washers but these will benefit from some lubrication so what I'm going to use is just regular wheel bearing grease I'm going to take a little bit of grease these act as thrust washers inside and if they bind up your clutch is not going to spin free so make sure not to get any grease onto the shoes and then just reinstall these just let them sit right there the clutch has needle bearings on the inside and just like every bearing from china there's never enough grease in there so what we're going to do is you know if your clutch is old and crusty and you can see the grease is nasty use some carburetor cleaner I do not recommend carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner for standard clutches that have a bronze bushing you'll dry out the bronze and you'll kill it but for needle bearings we can clean it out with carb spray just by spraying it in here and moving it around till all the old grease is out put some fresh grease on your finger and just pack it into the bearings I'm also going to do this from the other side. I want these bearings to be covered with grease. Every Japanese bearing has a minimal amount of grease because Japanese manufacturing says that if I can save a penny uh, of grease and making 100,000 clutches, that's going to feed a family for a year. So I'm just going to make sure that it's got plenty of grease on it. I'm going to wipe off my hands. And then I'm going to wipe off any grease that's on the inside of this clutch. If your clutch is old and dirty, use some WD-40 inside this drum. And you can wipe it down with WD-40. Same thing with the shoes. You can wipe the shoes down with WD-40. The WD-40 is going to burn off once uh, once the clutch starts working, so it's not going to hurt anything to have WD-40 in there. So now that I've got the, the thrust washers and the bearing lubricated, simply slide the clutch back together, wipe off any residual grease, and reinstall the snap ring, and then reinstall this on your engine this only takes just a little while to get done and is critical for the life of your clutch so now that we have that done we're running nice and free and now this clutch won't lock up at idle because those bearings are running free and you should maybe do this you know if you ride every day do it every three months uh, it doesn't take a lot, but it is important to have the proper amount of grease into these needle bearings. 
And that's all I have to say about that. I'm Eric. I am the Grey Goat. This is the Grey Goat Garage, and it is my rules. We're powered by OMBWarehouse.com. If you need a 16 millimeter clutch for a Coleman bike, we have those in stock, and they're available all the time. Okay? Thank you.